Good evening, guys, and welcome back to Football Manager 2024 and the Create a Club save that we've got going on with the London Greens. Unfortunately, the first bit of news this episode is a bad bit of news. Noah McCormack has officially left the club. Um, he's gone to Hayes and Hillingdon, which is it's a it's a rough one. It's a tough one. It's uh, it's not great, but we do have players who can, you know, step up and step in. Um, let me begin. No, um, who can you know fill in that role when we need them to? Uh, we do need to cover right back, so Duncan is going to take that position. Um, I do. I really think I need to do like a a squad clean out because it's getting a bit ridiculous, and my brain is genuinely struggling to to deal with the amount of players that are in the squad. But the problem is, is that I don't want to get rid of players. There's no need to. There's only there's there's no need to. But I can't sign everyone. You know, I can't sign all of the players in um, because it, it's it's just not feasible. You know, it's just not um, not. I can't do it. Basically, I can't do it. Um, so it wants me. What does it want me to do? It wants me to swap Rose Thorn and De Costa. It wants Papril and Carney to swap. Wants McNally in and he wants Duncan in. Okay, well, I'm okay with giving Duncan a go. That's not a bad shout. Look at that. Actually, he's very happy. Wants a few swaps here. Well. Um, do that swap. Even though, look, I mean, it's quite weird. Quite weird here that they don't have the kind of level of familiarity with the tactic that I feel like they should. It's a little bit annoying. Left and right. So Sunderman's actually not being covered here, but defenders are being covered, and Isaac covering the midfield is a good kind of double there. Moore hasn't really had much of a look in. Wants me to play McNally. Wants me to play McNally. Should we give McNally? Uh, no, nah, you know what? Sunderman scored. <clears throat> Sunderman scored a goal last time out, so. Yeah. Okay. We're going to start with the regular tactic that we have been starting with. Like I said at the end of last episode, guys, we are going to play a month per episode from here to the end. Um, last time out, we did win 6-4. Still complacent. I don't like that. Um, which is, well, we were 3-0 up and then we gave away a lot of goals. So I don't really want, um, want that to happen again. But we're going to start with the same plan. Let them have possession if they want it. And then we'll try and hit them on the counter with our pacier players. I might have to have a think about bringing the wingers back a little bit and just trying to make a new connection um, between the midfielders and the attackers and kind of trying to reconnect them a little bit. Because sometimes I feel like the, the problem we're facing is that we've got the DMs and then the attackers are moving further up the pitch and it's kind of counterproductive to have them like that. but. We'll see what we what happens today. We'll see how we fare. Um, Awusu gonna try and knock it past the defender. He does indeed. He takes the shot on. What a goal! What a goal! That's actually a trait that we've got with Awusu now. Is that um, one on one? Yeah, I'll just knock it past you and I'll go. I've got this. I've got the pace. I've got the speed, and uh, that's exactly what we want from from our left winger. Ryan Hall is. What's that showing? Again, it's showing complacency. I don't like that. I'll bring you off if you if you're not. Not playing properly. Webb clears that one long. Looks like, no, Sandhurst have indeed taken hold of the ball. And fight it and get it back. Ryan Hall, but there was no need for that, was there? We had the ball in a, an opportunity to counter-attack there. And uh, didn't do anything with it. And now and now we've conceded. That is, yeah, Ryan Hall's coming off. Off you come, lad. It's 26 minutes in and you've you've actually annoyed me enough to uh to do that um no uh we'll keep things as they are everywhere else but that that's unforgivable i don't know why you felt the need to clear it like that there was literally no need and the complacency is it is another problem that i will not be i will not be here for we've instantly bounced back which i'm obviously glad about but it's it, well, it had nothing to do with Ryan Hall, so 
Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna make the change again. We've only had two shots, and they've both gone in. And um, Awusu being involved in both goals. Rothorn's nicked that one. It's gonna run forward. Probably just take the shot on, buddy. Okay, no, kind of tracking back. Back to DaCosta. DaCosta shoots. I think that was off the bar. I think it was off the bar, but it was just over either way. Now we've got another chance. Odakoya with a free kick. Are we gonna take a shot from here? Usually, Josh Gamma takes the free kicks. But um, he's currently out injured. So we, we are unable to use, use him at the minute. But almost half time, 2-1 up. Again, possession wise, we're, we're willing to let them have it if we're able to take our chances. But there we go. That's half time. That's all right. Let's keep things going. Don't get complacent. Um, you're doing all right, bud. You're doing all right. Yeah, motivated. Nice. Um, Sunderman's doing okay. No need to change anything just yet. Nether caught with a yellow card. That's a... Oh, you're getting yellow carded up the pitch. Need for that. Really? Okay, what's going to happen? Sar's going to shoot it. It's off the post and Awusu clears it. And uh, another yellow card. So they're clearly coming on the attack a little bit more. Let's see... I don't know. Last time we went defensive in a game, it didn't end well. We actually conceded and threw away a three-goal lead. But it feels like the right thing to do. If they're going to invite themselves, they're going to attack more. We go defensive and hit them on the counter. That's hopefully what we're doing here. Wusu finds Odakoya and there's another goal. The exact same combination. Wusu is mad of the match as things stand. And uh, that's 3-1. Let's change the... Um... I don't want to do anything to tempo. Do we want to slow things down a touch on the tempo and maybe... Oh, we'll keep it... Nah, yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Try and hold the ball a little bit more. So, transition. But that's okay. Out of possession, though. We're going to keep things as they are. Okay. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. So, just that... that All that was was a slow the tempo down a little bit. Maybe will allow us to kind of... Take out a little bit more time of this game, from this game. Good ball across. That's going to be an easy save. No, it's gone over, actually, so no problem there. 20 minutes to go. Two-goal lead. We're looking good at the minute. It looks like Rochford Town will be playing on the Sunday rather than the Saturday. So we won't know if our, our gap at the top is actually points or if it's just going to stay as, um, as, point, as goal difference. So, anyway, Hannah, on this... On this shot, it's really close. Deflected and in. Dean Hanna taking, uh, taking free kicks. That's, uh, I wouldn't have expected that, but fair enough. Gets a deflection off the wall, goes in. Kind of hard for a keeper to react that quickly. So there we go, 4-1. Four, Four shots on target. They all went in. So our, our, you know, our finishing has been quite clinical. We have been really clinical. And that's exactly what we're after. Even if they score now with a minute to go, and um, it won't affect the result. And I'll be happy with four goals scored. Really, really good stuff. And we make the save anyway. Superb move by Sandhurst. I mean, it was a good move. They got the shot away. A good header. We're going to clear it forward. Odequia is going to try and win it. Can't quite get it. Like another chance is coming for Sandhurst here. Cross and that. Yeah, that'll go in. But like I say, it doesn't even matter. 4-2. Well, it, it, it doesn't even matter. We get the win either way. Good stuff. And I'm quite proud of the lads. That was a really good win. Everyone's green. Everyone's happy. Corrado and Powell are unhappy. Complacent. How can you be complacent on the bench when you didn't actually contribute? You know? Like, you're on the bench. I didn't, I didn't call upon you. You can't then be complacent, can you? Surely you would want to be fighting to get in the team and get in the starting eleven, But... Whatever, that whatever, it's no biggie. Um, we've got a three goal, three goal, a three point gap at the top. But we'll have to see how Rochford play in their game. Um, but I haven't arranged any other friendlies. So I'll be back when the next bit of news hits or the next game. Okay, dokes, guys. So we've had a very big offer here. Um, that I'm a bit 
Kind of, oh, I don't know. I don't. Feedback. Yeah, so Josh Shammer, they've made an offer for Josh Shammer. Could rise to 14,000. They've made an offer of 11.75. Transfer date immediate. Um, if we take a look at our squad, where is Josh Shammer? There he is. We're paying him 2.2 .2 per match. And he's kind of taken up that central position that Sunderman is currently in. Um, it's a difficult one. It's a difficult one. It honestly is. Um, because I, I do think that it would be good to kind of sell players every now and then. But the, obviously the, the, the thing is, finance-wise, we're so, so in the red that I'm not even sure one, one player being sold is going to actually affect that. So I'm actually going to reject the offer. Um, I don't know if that means that Gamma's going to be sad, going to be annoyed at me. Um, let's see. No, okay, so we haven't had anything there. I don't want to attend the press conference this time because um, all it's going to be is a question about the Shammer deal. But I've rejected it, and the reason I think is just because, yeah, we would make 11 grand on that deal, but 11 grand is not going to take us out of the red. Our debt is still quite high. Um, if we could get promoted... We will then hopefully be able to renew contracts, which I think is a good, is a better plan than selling off some of our best players. I think Shammer still has, probably, is probably still in the first team. So, yeah, I don't think, I don't think getting rid of him would be the right decision. But there we go, I've made a decision. I've made a decision. Um, whether or not that proves to be the right decision or not, we will we'll see later. Um, if he contributes in this game that we're about to play against JC Tackleway, then we'll find out. You know, if he does contribute, then I'm like, I made a great decision. Um, if he has a terrible game because he wants to leave and blah, 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 then yeah, okay, I've made a bad decision, but it is what it is. Okay, guys, we're at the game. And uh, again, the only... <laughs> it's really odd. The only change that the manager wants, or the, the you know, assistant manager wants is uh, to swap the midfielders around. Um, I don't get it. Personally, but let's just see how it fair, how they fare just on um, defensive midfielder settings. Um, it also wants me to play Shammer. Shammer can only have a half. So what I'm going to do is replace Nethercott. As you know, I'll replace Powell, bring Nethercott back in. And yeah. And so Shammer will come on, but probably, probably second half, depending on how it goes. Because he's still coming back from an injury as well. Like Regardless of all the transfer talk, he's coming back from an injury as well. So it's all about trying to not get him injured again, really. Um, we're playing against JC. They're in sixth, so they're kind of like sitting in the middle there um, of, the, of the table. Let's see what we can do here. Can we win this header? No, no, but we can win the second ball. Duncan plays it back to Papril. Papril into Hall. Hall's going to go back again. I'm, I don't mind that. We're... I do mind that. That's silly. We didn't need to just boot it up the field. We need to hold on to the ball a little bit more than that. Um, but here we go. JC on the ball. Cook going to move forward. Well, yeah, well, kind of moving forward with a good pace. They're out wide. Inside and cleared. And Awusu might be on the charge here on the counter attack. Let's go. It's only five minutes in, so everyone's going to be a little bit kind of fresh. Ryan Hall, good touch. Good touch. Whips it across. Odekoye is there for his 10th goal of the season. Lovely stuff. Ryan Hall kind of probably, I don't know, needs to bounce back after, the, uh, after what I would say was a pretty terrible performance in the last game. Um, oh, and we've conceded off a corner immediately afterwards. That's not great. 
That's not great at all. Not a fan. Need to do a little bit better defending off corners there. At least our goal, we worked the ball into the... Oh, it's another corner. Another corner. Here we go. Defend it better this time. No. Oh, my word. Come on, guys. Come on. You've got to be doing better on the defense there. That's uh, that's really not good. That's really not good. Now, okay, we are on. We are on Plan A still. It's been a bit of an odd start to the game where everything has gone in so far. Um, Odakoya with a free kick chance. Oh, just over. But okay, we're we're clearly generating chances. That's our third shot, so that's good. Right. Um, it looks like. Is everyone playing? Is Junction and Rochford are playing? Rochford have got a goal. So let's also take a look at the latest scores. Um, Junction are playing. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Come towards the end. What a tackle of the first half. Sunderman forward. Forward again. Ryan Hall's going. Keep going. Keep going. Shoots it. Ah. Mm, you kind of want it the other way around. You want Ryan Hall sending the ball long and Odakoye is the one getting onto it. Um, but we won the ball back again immediately off the goal kick. So this is a good chance. Awusu's going to move forward, going to whip it across. Looking for Ryan Hall. Again, Ryan Hall being the one taking the shot. I'm not sure I want that so much. I'd much rather it was Odakoya. Um, yeah, we are doing well getting shots away. Keep going. Keep going. Keep taking shots. We've had way more shots than they have. Let's actually go. Let's go attacking. Let's go attacking and see if we can, can get something here. Because uh, we're generating all the chances. The fact that we conceded twice off of corners is the only thing that's actually annoying me here. Here we go. Odakoya, this is what I wanted. One on one. And he's a good save. It's a good save. But more chances. Yes, come on. Here we go. More chances. Tactically, we're moving up the pitch. The midfielders are joining. Thunderman goes in. Let's give Shammer his chance for Ryan Hall. Here we go. Firm that sub. Thunderman at the back post. Heads it in. Ryan, no, I've just taken him off. I've just taken him off. I can't do that. No, I need to actually cancel it. I need to give players credit where credit is due. We're going to cancel that change. Um, cool. Ryan Hall is not going off. Thunderman can't go off either. He's, he's, he's scored a great goal. Um, let's take off Owusu instead. And, uh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah. Because Shama would naturally come in for either Sunderman or for Ryan Hall. And I can't do that when they've just combined to, uh, to get us the equaliser. I can't do that. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a good pass out wide. Get back. We've got to get back here. Good ball across. We should win that. Rothorn's done well. Yeah, play the ball, play it. Oh, it's not the greatest pass. Kind of wanted that to be set in his stride, but Wushu's done really well with it anyway. Across to De Costa, that was that was not a good shot. <laughs> that was not a good shot at all. I don't think we need that. But we have continued to do well. We have continued to do well. I don't think JC have had much of a look in in this second half. Um, let's take a look at some making some changes now, though. Nethercott could probably come on for Hall. That's okay. And uh, maybe Isaac for Rothorn. I don't know. Actually, let's let's swap that back. Do Isaac for Carney. Um, okay. Carney now on the ball, actually. I've just said I'm going to take him off. Plays it to Rothorn. Rothorn going forward. Nice. Into the Costa. Very nice. There's a few... There was a few passes there that were potentially on. And... Uh, that was not one of them. And now we're on, on the back foot. And oh, it's just been blocked by Hannah. Good block. We're back drawing. Let's go back to the league table real quick. Rochford are winning. So they're, they're closing the gap on us. If things stay as they are, let's go attacking. And let's even go to plan C and just absolutely send attackers at them. Just send attackers all the way forward. Here we go. We've, here's the chance. Hannah onto Nethercott. Nethercott. Turns really well. Shoots. Off the bar. Oh, off the post. Slash the bar. 
It was kind of off the joint. But we've still got the ball. De Costa all the way back to Pat Perrill. That's all right. Forward to Duncan. Duncan inside. Surely. Inside. First time would have been the one. Would have been the one. Junction also getting the win. Closing the gap. And that's going to be full time. 2-2. Two, two. Wowza. Wowza. We did generate a lot of chances in the end there. But so did JC to be giving, you know, give credit to them as well. Best performer was Ryan Hall. Um, even though we took him off. Yeah, you know what? We did well to get a draw. We were losing that game. Um, we were winning it, 1-0, obviously. But we were losing it from an early kind of point there. So the fact that we came back, we got the draw. And then we went attacking and we almost, save for the post, we almost got the win. So, can't really be too mad about that one. Can't really be too mad about that one. Let's see what the schedule is because I'm not actually sure we have another game this episode or if it's next episode and that we have three games because we're just doing it monthly we're just doing it month by month so uh, so i was right to check guys that is going to be it that is the episode it's two games this episode three games next episode so next time out we will have three games we'll be away at hawkehurst home against kodak and then away against junction and that'll be oh that's a big game that's a huge game if we look at the table there's one point separating the top three very similar to how the uh, the Premier League has been over the last few weeks. One point separating Liverpool, Arsenal and Man City. The same here. And obviously the East Sussex League Premier Division. It, you know, it's, it's the same kind of level stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, one point is really, really close. The only thing, like I said before, our goal difference is so strong that if we do end up tied, we're looking okay. But we need to carry on. We do need to carry on. We've got nine games left. You know, we're already... Pushing into the, the back half of the season now. Only nine games to go. And uh, we've got to kind of try and keep the pressure on. Keep winning games. And where we can. Look, we, I can't believe we lost to Sidley who are down in 10th. That's kind of crazy. And yet, did we draw to Junction or we beat them? We beat Junction 4-2 um, when we played them. So that's that gives me a bit of confidence for next episode. But... Another handle there, guys. We've got to win the games ahead of us. We can't always be looking behind us. But we do end the episode top of the table. So that's good. That is good. That is a good thing. So thank you so, so much for watching today's episode, guys. I do hope you have enjoyed it. This save is really, really cool. It's probably the most invested in a football manager save I've ever been. Now, I have owned a few versions of the game, played a, quite a few saves. But this one, the one I'm recording, you know, I've created the club. I'm getting attached to players. <laughs> I, I do think this is probably the most invested I've ever been in a save. So we'll keep it going. We'll keep it going as long as, you know, fancy. As long as I keep, keep making the videos. So guys, I'll catch you next time.